I spent a crazy amount of time analyzing equipment in preparation for my Camino. I just want to share some of the things that I found and some of the products that I really like that might save you some time. My backpack was an Osprey Kestrel 38. I originally bought a Kestrel 48 and returned it for the 38, which would qualify as carry-on luggage with United Airlines. It has a zippered pocket at the bottom, a big web pocket on the front, a hood with a large zippered compartment on the top, zippered compartments on both sides of the belt, uh, a ventilated back system. It's very comfortable, it's very adjustable, and it has the stow-on-the-go pole-holding um, system, which, honestly, I didn't use that often, but it's a nice feature. You see, I've got loaded up with my smart tube hydration system, where I hook a liter and a half opaque Nalgene bottle, which is very unbreakable, um, around to the front, and it makes it easy to get water without uh, asking somebody to hand me my bottle or having to stop and take my pack off. The smart tube system is available on, on Amazon and other places online. Make sure that you get the, uh, the kit that has the 63 millimeter adapter uh, cap in it so that you can use it on Nalgene bottles. My boots were Sol Solomon Ultra X2 Mid something. Actually, I'll put uh, links and description of all the items in the description field of this video. Uh, these were very comfortable, quite waterproof, um, not perfectly waterproof because if the water, if I uh, stood with water rain, running down my rain pants and it puddled up on the front, uh, it would seep through after a while. Um, but they were great and they wore well and I was happy with them. My sleeping bag was a Marmot Nano Wave 55. It weighs in at about 24 ounces, a pound and a half, um, so, and it packs really small. It was perfect for, for my needs. I wanted something a little bit heavier than um, a silk sheet or a sleeping bag liner. My trekking poles were REI carbon power lock poles by, made by Comperdill. Um, they come in a little bit less than a pound. Uh, they were great for me, but I just noticed that they're no longer available. They're no longer available from REI. Uh, my second choice, and it was because it was more expensive at the time, really, uh, is the Alpine Carbon Cork uh, Pole by Black Diamond. It looks like a really fantastic uh, pole, also, and it's about the same price that I paid for mine um, since it's come down in price since then. Uh, one of the interesting things I did that I got a lot of comments is that I wrapped reflective tape in two part places here and it makes you much easier to see when you're walking in the morning uh, before the sun comes up. I'm a big believer in trekking poles, although not everybody is. Uh, it's important to learn how to use them correctly to really take advantage of them. If you're fortunate enough to live around an REI, um, the people who work there are, can give you some good basic instructions, specifically on how to hold the poles. And if you haven't uh, learned the correct way to do it, go find a YouTube video on it. I'll actually link to one in, in the description. My town shower and backup shoes were Croc Swiftwater sandals. Uh, they weigh 12 ounces, they're real comfortable, they're easy to get on and off, they dry quickly, and uh, they protect you from stub toes if you're walking around on uh, rocks in, in town. I had a long and a short pair of pants. My long pants were REI Safari something pants, I'll put it in the description. Uh, some of the features that I really liked is that they dried very quickly, they had a lot of pocket space, including this coin po uh, pocket, which was very, very useful since you do end up with one euro coins a lot when you're in Spain. Um, yeah, again, so they wore well, dried, dried um, fast, and had a lot of good pockets. Great, I think these are my new favorite pants. My short pants were a pair of Columbia pants. Now, both, both pairs of pants had a zippered pocket that was just perfect for holding my uh, passports uh, and credit card and a little bit of money in there too. My normal daily shirt was a white Sierra shirt that I liked really well because it had good pockets too and um, I liked the zippered one on the front where I would keep some 
currency in. And so in one pocket, I would always keep my uh, phone slash camera. And in this pocket, I would keep my backup battery for my phone. And uh, sometimes I would run a cable, a USB cable, from my backup battery through the webbing to the other pocket. And that was kind of, uh, kind of useful. My other shirts that I'd wear when I was doing the laundry or just making a change were both uh, cheap Hanes technical uh, shirts that cost about $7 each. I had a long sleeve one and a short sleeve one. And the big benefit of these is that they dry fast and were UPF um, 50 or so, I believe. Um, I had a lightweight fleece by Mountain Hardware and the fact that it was light was good. It was, uh, it served its purpose. For undershorts, I used ex officio give and go briefs and boxer briefs. And uh, honestly, I didn't uh, have a big preference for one versus the other. Uh, they're, they're both great. They're kind of the standard for uh, travel underwear. They drive fast um, and they're comfortable. My flashlight slash headlamp was an Ozark Trail uh, multicolored uh, headlamp. It was only about $13, and so it was about a third of the price of an expensive one from an outfitter, uh, but it did, it did its job. Um, my hat was really good uh, in keeping the sun off. It was by Sun Protection Zone. Um, it has a tie, and it was only about $13 from Costco. Um, the only problem about it is that the brim was so big that it caught the wind and sometimes would, would blow up and um, just you know, pull on the, on the cord. But... Uh, um, I don't think there is such a thing as a perfect hat. Uh, I had rain pants from REI that I'd had for years and they worked out well. Um, it's important to carry a lot of ditty bags of different sizes and textures so that you can uh, reach into your bag and uh, feel what you need without, uh, like, without seeing it. Just be careful if you do use webbed ones that they don't get caught in your zippers. I had an extra large pack towel, um, microfiber towel. It did its job and uh, I don't know, the extra large was nice having because there was just more surface area to uh, to get the water off. Typically this would go in the uh, web compartment of my uh, pack the next day. I had this eyeglass holder that I would keep uh, either my sunglasses or uh, regular glasses in and at night I would I would hook it with a little carabiner to uh, the bed post so I would know where, where it was in the morning. Um, it's really handy to have a, a, po a toothbrush that you can stick in your pocket since sometimes you might give up on getting into the bathroom if it's a crowded albergue. In one of the pockets of my pants, I kept my toilet kit here that had uh, camping toilet paper. And this really here is the preferred brand because it's so much easier to, uh, to rip a piece off from. Uh, unlike this brand right here, uh, which is kind of a pain. This one here is a real good one. And uh, also in my kit, I had um, some hand sanitizer. So it was uh, easy to always tell that it was in my, in my pocket and there was a good pocket for it on both, both pairs of pants. I made up a good uh, foot care kit that included moleskin and compede and some um, some neosporin uh, antiseptic spray. Now, if you're really worried about um, about blisters, you might get some benzoin too. I kept it as backup. Benzoin is a, a surgical glue that will keep your uh, moleskin on for a long time if you're doing that. Uh, but I found that just this cloth tape worked very well in most parts if you didn't have a serious blister. And if you had a serious blister, uh, then you'd want to use Compede or Compede and Moleskin over the top or Compede with duct tape over the top. I, I, had so, I did have several blisters uh, on the Via de la Plata. This was something handy. I took some nylon cord and made marks on it and, and then put my 12 uh, safety pins on it. The safety pins were backups to uh, closed pins when you end up losing those. Okay, so now for some of the products that I actually found less useful. Uh, one of them was my Swiss Army knife. I did a lot of analysis to find one that had that was small and had a corkscrew and scissors on it. Uh, it turns out that I really didn't need the corkscrew. I did use it twice on my Camino, uh, but there were always corkscrews around when I, when I needed them, so I could have gotten by with a smaller, lighter uh, knife. Uh, I took a anti-bug head net, and I... There was twice when I could have used it, used it, but I got by without it, so it was really kind of unneeded. Uh, honestly, I didn't use my eye covers or earplugs at night. Sure, there were people snoring, but that's life. You're tired and you, you go to sleep. 
Uh, my spork I used a couple times, but again, I really didn't need it. There would have been uh, other ways that I could have, could have eaten, and I, I could have just taken a cheap pl plastic spoon. Um, my rain jacket was very handy, and it was waterproof, but it was so waterproof that it really didn't breathe. And so this was about a $32 uh, White Sierra uh, rain jacket. And I think if I would have just kind of, this might have been one of the things I should have spent more money on and gotten the $100 North Face one that would have uh, breathed better, although this was light. Some final comments. Make sure you know how to use your equipment before you get on the Camino. Know how to put on and adjust your pack. Know how to tighten the tension on your poles if relevant. Um, mine adjusted with a, um, with a dime. Um, some other things that some other products I didn't show you, some other equipment I didn't show you. Uh, I did not originally take a, a glove and um, a knit hat with me. And the first cold day in um, October, it became real clear that I, I would need them. And I was lucky to find a shop. If I had taken, um, if I had taken stuff with me, it probably would have been a little bit higher quality, but it worked out. Um, also, my friend who I went with said, oh, you don't need to bring deodorant. Everybody's going to end up smelling like goats um, after a couple days anyway. Well, we did end up smelling like goats, uh, but uh, partway through the trip, I decided that deodorant was worth it just to uh, um, keep my clothes fresher for the days that uh, it was not possible to do laundry. So anyway, good luck on your Camino. Buen Camino.